there was a time New York radio was just incredible. There was no TV in my house growing up. It was all about the radio. To disc jockey was your friend. He told you what color to wear in the morning. The personalities were absolutely critical. They just had a series of jocks that just kind of like broke records. If there was no bomb being dropped on your record, there was no heat around it. Our local heroes were the people on the radio. I mean, if you was in New York City and you wasn't listening to the radio, you really wasn't part of what the lifestyle of what New York City was. This was the Mecca. This was the, the mountaintop, so to speak, that they were broadcasting from. We would actually gather around the radio boom boxes and all of that. And we would have our cassettes all ready to tape them songs. And turn the cassette over to press record. It was all about radio. DJ said anything on this radio, you believe them. That's how much we trusted them. They didn't just give you information, but they entertained you. They really took it to the next level. They were the first I remembered that played the kind of music that inspired us. New York was the epitome. If you became a hit in New York, you could be a hit anywhere in the world. We're talking New York. We're talking New York radio, the number one radio market in the world. It was an incredible, incredible time, not just in New York City, but in radio history. And it went beyond the music. Howard Beach and Benson Hurst, all the way to Sean Bell, was done because we had the ability to talk to our people or without it being censored and filtered. There's other radio, of course but they're not telling our story. The history of black radio DJs is really a real unsung story. They were barrier breakers. These DJs and these stations touched so many lives for so many years. Their stories deserve to be told. There's great power in communication. A program like this is lifting the legends of black radio to the place where they belong.